Hello, I am Lina with Ape Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning how to control our sprites movement and start building our own Pac-Man game. Follow us, like our video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that like button so you don't miss anything. quick little demo we're just gonna have our sprite go to the right go to the left go up go down and then we're gonna move it all the way to the right and then click on that flag and see how it initializes back to the location so today's lesson we're going to learn how to move the sprite using our keyboard so we're gonna add some movement to our sprite to be able to control it now the lesson is gonna take only five minutes this is just teaching you guys how to move your sprite these are the blocks that we're going to be using to add movement to our sprite. And I decided to put them in the color code that they belong to so that it's easier for you guys to understand and follow what we're trying to do. Let's get started with step number one. This is a very, very important step. Always, always initialize your sprite. Set the area where it has to start when you start the flag. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a sprite that I already created. I have a maze here and I have the Pac-Man character. So the first thing I want to do is I always want to start my character down here. So let's go ahead and drag it down here. So let's initialize our character. So when the flag is clicked, I want my character to start in the location I have it. Let's make sure we bring it a little bit down. So again, if you drag the character to the location you want it, you can go ahead and just go and pull the uh, the uh, X and Ys that you want. It already sets them to whatever you have down here. Now let's go ahead and make sure that it's pointing in the 90 degree direction when it starts in. That is very important because when you move it around, it will rotate around. And we're going to switch it to our number two right and if you look in there inside our customs he has several customs i don't need this one so i'm gonna delete those but he has several customs here and you decide which one you want to start i want to start with this one so it's facing towards the right and then we're gonna go ahead and set the size of it and i want it to be 50 percent in step number two, we're going to go ahead and add the ability for our sprite to be controlled with the up and down arrow so that we can move up and down. All right, for step number two, let's go ahead and add the up and down ability to be able to control our sprite with the up and down arrow. Arrow. <laughs> I always say the wrong word. Uh, let's see. Up arrow. So we're going to switch to... I'm going to switch the character custom to the first one to the first one here i don't know why i put that one so that's the first one first one um we're gonna point at a zero direction so when it goes up when it goes up i want the character to be pointing up like this and then we're just gonna move 10 steps so let's make sure it does that first before we continue with the other one there we go and the other keys should not work because we do not have access to the other keys yet. Now I want you to duplicate these. Change it to down arrow. And we're still going to leave it with, with that. And now we're going to go ahead and drag this arrow all the way to 180 degrees. And that's all we have to change for going down. So now let's try that one. There we go. We can go up and down. We cannot go left and right yet. Finally, step number three. We're going to go ahead and add the ability for the sprite to be controlled with the right and left arrows. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is just going to duplicate one of these guys because the code is exactly the same. And again, for those who did not see, just right click and click on duplicate. And that will copy your code, make a copy of it. So let's start with the right side. And I want to be able to go to the right. So the ball is going to be the same. And we're going to go ahead and change that to go to 90 degrees. And that's it. So now let's test that. Make sure you always test so you know 
at what point did your code break so we can go up and down up up down and right so now let's add the code for the left let's duplicate that again change this to the left arrow and then this is where we're going to need that second costume that we created here right there and i'll show you why because it, i'll show you let's leave it first to the first costume so you guys can see and then he goes negative steps all right so now we're going to go ahead and run this code and we're going up to the right and if you do not change the costume it will go backwards i mean unless you want your character to go backwards then that's perfectly fine i do not want my character to go backwards so i'm going to change it to this so now you can see that we have the up the down the, the right and the left and also our program when it's the flag is clicked it starts again at this location all right guys that was it i just wanted to teach you guys how to control your sprite to be able to go up down right and left and how to initialize your program because it's very very important to initialize your program and don't forget to follow subscribe to our channel like this video and hit that uh, like button uh, also don't forget to go ahead and leave us comments questions concerns we're going to continue building this game together so look forward to the next video Goodbye.